my channel Yarn Over with Arthritis. My name's Rachel and yes I do have rheumatoid arthritis and um, I was diagnosed around 28 years old but I've never um, let it stop me from doing the things I love which is knitting and crocheting. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a very simple baby's headband. Um, the stitch I'm using is a half double crochet stitch and you can make these for bigger children, adults if you want to, any colours you'd like. I use a quite a soft wool for babies. Um, I'm using a 4mm hook and some leftover 8 ply, it's quite soft wool. And as you can see my hands aren't very good from arthritis but um, I just get it done and I enjoy creating whatever I create. So we're going to start off with chaining 14 and if you wanted a newborn um, I would probably suggest maybe 10 to 12 chains. So we'll chain 14, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's our 14 chains. And then we're going to start off with the double, half double crochet stitch. So we're going to start in the second chain here, not the first but the second. So it's yarn over through the loop, pull the yarn through, so you've got three loops on the crochet hook. Then yarn over and pull through the whole three. So yarn over. Oops, I went to the wrong put it go right through. Start the one again. Yarn over, pull through. And pull through the whole three. Yarn over. not to have it too tight because then it's a bit hard to pull through the whole three.
stitch. And then I just pull the tail a little bit tighter. So that's our first round done. And then before I turn the work, I chain one. So I'll just put one chain. And that's at every end of every round, you chain one. And then we'll just turn our work over like that. And then we're going to be working in the back chain on every round, working into the back chain this one through here and then we're going to be starting on the second chain is 14 inches long so I'll just carry it carry on with the half double crochet until the headband measures 14 inches and then I'll come back shortly
I completed it then. And it measures the 14 inches. And maybe for a newborn, you could do 12 or 13 inches. So to complete and sew the headband, we want we need a pair of scissors and a darning needle and I just cut a bit of a tail and then I'll just yarn over and pull the thread right through like that and just fasten and then the tail on the end here I'll just snip a bit off to make it a bit shorter and take your darning needle and your thread the long tail like that now pick your headband up and you want to fold each end like that and then you just want to push them together so it look, will look like that So I just push my darning needle along through the middle of it and right to the end. And then just snip it off at the end. And then if you turn it through, there you have a headband. Can decorate them with you could put cute little buttons on them if you wanted to I'm going to actually get some little clothing tags and put them on the headbands but I'll do a video to show that and that's how simple it is so if you like my um, video please make sure you subscribe and like and um, I'll be producing more videos. Thank you.